you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle so for today's video I'm going to be doing something completely different that I've never done on my channel before and that is an unboxing setting up and customizing my brand new MacBook Pro now I wasn't intending to film this video to be honest I wasn't even intending to buy a new computer anytime soon however certain events did transpire that have led me to be here today. I had a 2016 MacBook Pro that has served me very well over the years. I've created so much content with that thing. However, I had noticed that it was a little bit slow, actually a lot of bit slow. It would lag a lot. A couple of the keys were a bit off and I noticed that the battery was also running out a lot quicker than usual as well. And then just the other day I was running an update and the thing completely shut down out of nowhere. So frantically, I was trying to do all these different reasons Sets, trying to figure out the problem on my own till I decided that I had to take it into Apple to the Genius Bar to get them to work their magic. Now when I took it in they couldn't turn it on and if I wanted to send it away and have it looked at and potentially have it be fixed it was going to cost me over $800. Bruh. With that thought in mind I figured you know what maybe this is a sign that I need to upgrade I need to invest in myself and just go ahead and buy something that's brand new that works a bit better that is a little more efficient with what I'm doing with it and and that is why I ended up picking up for myself a brand new MacBook Pro. This is the 2020 M1 chip version. I believe the M1 chip is like a brand new feature that they have. So this is a 13 inch, the same as the one that I had before. But it's just a little more upgraded, obviously brand new. And I'm very excited about it. So... I basically went into the Apple store, like I said, they tried to work their magic, but it wouldn't turn on. I brought it home and I was just sitting here thinking like, okay, I just want to check. I want to make sure that it doesn't turn on. So tell me why I opened it up and it turned on. I was shocked. Like, are you doing this because you see that there's like a new person in town? That's really what I was thinking. But yeah, I was kind of considering like, okay, maybe the life of it isn't over yet. Maybe it's still good. But I did do some more editing on it for the past couple of days just to get ahead with content. And it was just slow. So yeah, just word of advice though. Make sure that you double check everything before you send it away to be fixed. Because it was a little bit shocking to me that, you know, I couldn't turn it on nothing I did worked at first and then they couldn't fix it in store but then I brought it home thinking it was completely dead and it turned on so I don't know now I still do have my baby right here this thing has served me so well over the years so grateful for what it's done for me but I think it's time to retire it I mean it still works just when it comes to editing, it can't really keep up. Like I can still use it because I'm so used to the way it runs and having to wait for the circle of death and like for the lag, I'm so used to that. But I think the fact that it was struggling and it died was perhaps a sign that I did need to upgrade. So that is why we're here today. And I figured that I would show you guys me setting it up and also customizing it a little bit. So if you guys are interested to see all of that, keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So yeah, this is it right here the macbook pro with the apple m1 chip but basically this is the 13 inch macbook pro with 8 gigs of memory and 512 yeah 512 gigs of storage so my previous computer had about 250 gigs of storage which i was always like running out of room with i thought that 250 gigs would be enough but it turns out it's not so i decided to double it and i'm very excited about that i'm super excited to have a lot more storage space and I'm excited to really see how this is gonna run in comparison with the new M1 chip. So let's get to unboxing. So I hope you guys can see properly. I feel like Apple packaging is so satisfying to unbox and it just feels nice and it's just an experience, I tell you. I love unboxing Apple products. Oh my gosh. How do I get this off? <laughs> Wait, hold on. It's like suctioning on and it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> I love unboxing Apple products. Ooh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, nice. I can't believe it. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I did get this in space gray, which I was kind of like thinking that I was just gonna get another silver one, but I wanted it to feel brand new. I figured if I'm gonna be spending this much on a brand new computer, I want it to feel brand new as well. And that is so nice. I really, really like that. It's so sleek and clean and Wow, I love it. Okay, so let's just put the computer aside for a second. I love how minimal their packaging is as well. Like, it's just the charger, the cable, and an instruction booklet with some stickers. But I should probably, like, read through this probably. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. <laughs> Wait. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. I was like pulling out this extra thing in there thinking it was a booklet. No, it's not. It's literally nothing. <laughs> so obviously we have all of the instructions, which to be honest, that's a pretty like, that's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, there is not much to it, but I'm excited as well because this has a touch bar, which I didn't have one on my old computer. Now we have the charging block and then we have the cable, so. That's cool. I don't think I need those just yet. I'm pretty sure it's already charged, but I'll put that to the side. I'm going to take the plastic sleeve off. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look how nice that looks. Damn, that's sleek. Okay, I was kind of iffy about my choice in space gray. I was thinking that I should have gotten silver, but I'm actually very happy that I got space gray. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's already turning on. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Okay, wow, I'm really excited now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do English Australia because Siri has an Aussie accent with that one. Wow, the keyboard's so nice. I feel like the keys are a lot more raised than my old one. Voiceover. Press the command key while you press touch ID, set up your mic, press the escape key. Okay, we're not gonna do voiceover, we're just gonna do regular. Oh, I have to set up my Wi-Fi, which I need to get the password, so give me a sec. Okay, so Wi-Fi is set up. Now, migration. Do I want to transfer? I don't want to transfer any of my other stuff from my old computer in here. I just want to keep it fresh and have like a nice clean slate. So I'm going to say not now. Apple ID. Okay. Wow, the keyboard feels really nice. Feels really, really nice. All right. So we're up to the Ask Siri part, which I think I got to talk to her. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? All done. All right, we're nearly there, I think. Oh, okay, we get to do Touch ID. I'm so excited for this because, yeah, I never, I didn't realize that there was like a little button in the corner of the computer, like right here. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, start by placing your finger or thumb. Let's do my pointer finger. Keep going, capture the edges. Oh, okay. That is so crazy if you think about it. Like it can actually read your little fingerprint. So insane. So you can actually use your fingerprint to unlock the Mac. I did not know that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, and you can even use it for Apple Pay. That is so cool. Okay, sorry, I'm getting really hype about this because that is a feature that I have not experienced before. And yeah, I did not know that you could just like tap it and pay for something. Like that's really cool. Okay, so now it's asking me if I want to do light, dark, or auto for the like look of the whole operating system. And I think I want to do auto because that's what I do on my phone. I kind of prefer it like in the daytime it's bright and then at nighttime it goes dark. Oh my gosh, okay, it's all set up. So let's go into screen recording mode so we can do this together. So like I mentioned earlier, I kind of wanted to go through the process and show you guys how I'm going to be customizing my new computer. So first things first, I want to remove what I don't necessarily need all along here. So I'm just going to drag. Is that how I do it? Yes. Drag and remove all of the things that I don't necessarily immediately need in my dock. So even music, I don't use that. Don't need this. Uh, keynotes, no. Reminders, 
Mm, no. Contacts, no. Photos, no. Maps, no. I don't even keep my email. <laughs> I literally get rid of everything. So it's like the bare minimum. Even FaceTime, actually, no, I will keep FaceTime because I do use it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Find a Safari messages, FaceTime, calendar. Do I even really need calendar? Yeah, calendar is good to have there as well. If I want to add anything, I can always add it later. I usually like to also change the order of my apps, but I kind of just want to keep it as that. So also this one that keeps disappearing, that's because my iCloud and my phone is like on my notes, I guess. And it wants to be like, hey, if you want to pull it up on here, you can. So that's all good. But I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I don't really need to change the order of everything. So. Next, I am going to go into Doc Preferences. Oh, actually, yeah, let's just do Doc Preferences first and see what's up with that. So, I'm gonna make it smaller. And then I wanna do Automatically Hide and Show the Doc. I actually prefer that because it gets out of the way whenever I'm using other things. And then if I need it, it can just pop up like that. But I do want to do Magnification. Yes, we want that on. Yeah, I like that better. So if I need something, I can go down there, it'll pop up, and it makes whatever app I want large. So that's cool. So I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to hide the menu bar up there. I want to keep that on. So that's all good. I think what I want to do now is probably change the background. Now, I never used to like collage backgrounds. I used to have the same background and it was just like a plain marble background, which I love, but I did create like a vision board collage at the beginning of the year. So I did have that on my old computer, but it's kind of personal. So I made a different one for this, which I'm gonna show you guys. Let me just airdrop it though. What I'm gonna do, oh, there it is. So that's my background that I wanna have. It's just a bunch of like beige, nudish, neutral tone images. Obviously there's Alan and I, but I like to have like a lot of the same kind of tones and they're like quotes as well. So I'm gonna make that my background. So change desktop background and I'm just gonna take that image and drag it. Bam. Oh, it looks so cute. I love that. Okay, nice. That looks really, really cute. Another thing that I wanted to do as well is customize my folders. Now, usually I would have, yeah, like folders. And I also want to do um, stacks actually before I set that up. Let me set up stacks. Is that how I do it? Oh yeah, I use stacks. I prefer to have stacks just because whenever I dump like a bunch of photos or video files that I need to edit, they all stay in one pile and it doesn't take up like the whole entire screen. So I do like to use stacks, but I want to change the look of these folders, which I actually downloaded a bunch of PNG images to kind of help me with that. I downloaded it from Etsy. So I'm going to leave the link for that if you guys would be interested in that, but I'm going to change that. So let me show you guys how I'll do that right now. All right. So as you can see, I have these two files here that, like I said, I downloaded from Etsy and I basically can just pick like what image I want for the folder. Now you can do like any image that you want, whether that be like even like a photo or like some cute like PNG drawing. But for me personally, I like to keep things like as it is like a folder, but I kind of just want to tweak it a bit and make it match my theme and aesthetic. So as you guys can see, pretty much all of these folders right here, you can get they're all of like, you know, that brown, nude, neutral, beige kind of tone. And the pack that I picked up did have these like categorized ones already, where, you know, you've got music, photos, schoolwork, banking, travel, all that, or it has like the named folders, but I just want to keep mine plain. I don't think I want to do like the ones with the icons just because yeah, I'm not sure. Let me just have a look. Wait, not that one. Let's see the other one. Yeah, so as you guys can see, these right here, like all these plain ones, I just want to use those. So what I want to do is I think I want to stick to like starting from this gradient 
take that I'm going to copy and then I want to go to get info on the folder that I want to change click on this little folder at the top and then hit command V and bam nice that's so cute I love it and as you guys can see yeah, it definitely matches like the whole aesthetic of what I've got going on. And I'm sure you guys can find ones that will like match whatever color you prefer, whether that be like pink, green, yellow, all of that. So I'm going to rename this um, YouTube. There we go. And let me just make another one as well while I'm here, just to show you guys. We'll call it important and I'll go get another file that I want. Let's get this one and change that as well. Nice. Okay, that's looking really cute. Yeah, I might create more later, like more files later. I just can't think off the top of my head what I'm going to need right now, but I think it looks super cute. It's like matching the whole aesthetic of the wallpaper, which is really nice. So that's that, and like I said, you can use any image that you want, whether it be like a cute little drawing or something, but I just prefer to have the folders, so that's that. Something that I want to look for as well is, um, let me change actually the hot corners, because yeah, I'm so used to moving my mouse to the corners of the screen to get to where I want, that I don't even know how to get to the other applications now, like I have no idea. So. Let me go into system preferences and we'll figure out if we can change the hot corners, which I honestly don't know what that would be under. So, okay, desktop and screen. Is it under here? Nope. Where's hot corner? Hot corners. Okay, it says it's under there, so we've got to look. Oh, here it is. Okay, under screensaver, let's go to hot corners. So, Basically hot corners, if you don't know what it is, um, if you move your cursor to any corner of the screen, you can set it up so a certain action occurs. So for me, I like to do, um, I can't even remember what I like, to be honest, desktop I think it is? Yeah, okay, so whenever I go to the desktop, if I'm say on Safari or something and I need to grab something, or even like Final Cut if I'm editing something and I need to grab it from the desktop real quick, I just move my cursor up to the top grab what I need and then I can potentially like drag it back into the program but yeah that's pretty much what whole corners is so I'm gonna do desktop for the top corner I think I do launch pad yes okay so there we have it those are all of the other applications which I was looking for and then let's do hmm what's notification center oh okay Interesting. Okay, cool. Notification sensor actually desktop? No, we've already got desktop. What am I doing? <laughs> application windows. Okay, yeah, that's another thing I like to do. If I have multiple like applications open and I just want to see them all at a glance, like for example, if I opened like this folder and this folder, and if I just wanted to see them all, going to the bottom corner is gonna show me everything. So yeah, that's cool. Screensaver for this corner. Can that work? <gasps> oh. Oh, it does make it go to screensaver straight away. Nice. Okay. Which, speaking of screensaver, I am going to change mine. And we're going to do that by going to Fleeklo Clock. Yeah. Fleeklo Flip Clock app and screensaver. I just like having this, I mean it's very aesthetically pleasing and you know whenever the laptop does go to sleep and the screensaver goes on, it's just nice to have the time there like in your face. So that is downloading and it's done, that was pretty quick actually. So let's just quickly set that up, install, oh there it is, okay so I installed it, it scrolls to the bottom, there it is. Oh. I have to do an update? Is that what it's telling me? Oh, I have to do an update in order to make that work. That's unexpected. Okay, let's just do that real quick. Okay, so I feel like that's gonna take some time with the download. Wow, okay, 22 minutes. My internet must be really slow right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with 
customizing. So I want to set up sticky notes, but I don't actually use stickies. I use a different app. I used to use stickies, but then I found a different one that I liked better. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Ant Notes. Yes, okay. And the reason why I like this is because I'm pretty sure with stickies, you can't customize the color of the note. So yes, I do want to run this on startup because I just like having it there on the screen for me. I usually have it like about that size and I like to keep it up in this corner. Now I want to change the color, which, okay, background. Okay, so this is why I like this is because you can literally change the color of the whole note itself, which I like it to kind of match like with the tone of my theme. So let's try that. And as you guys saw, I used a little uh, dropper tool to get the color that I wanted. And then let's change it to translucent. Oh, is that what I want? Maybe not. Actually, I don't think I like that color. Let's change it to something a bit different. Where's that little setting thing gone? <laughs> okay, so you can make it translucent because obviously it does cover like part of the image right there. To be honest, I don't really mind too much, so we can just make it regular. Okay, so then pretty much on here, I will type like my to-do list and whatever else. So I don't really like that font either, so I'm gonna change that. I like the font times. So yeah, that is what I wanna do for that. I like to keep that there and then am I still waiting for that thing to download oh yes I am okay I might not be able to show you guys like screensaver in this video because it is taking a minute so I might just leave that but you guys already saw like the whole process of how to get it which is basically the main part of it but what I want to do now is figure out my touch bar let's see where is it? Touch bar? What would that be? Oh, okay. Quick actions. Okay, customize control strip. <gasps> oh, okay. This is so cool. I can drag my favorite things. So if I... Ooh, okay. Oh, actually, that's really good because then I can put the launch pad. What the heck? That's crazy. It's like when you drag it down, it actually goes down! That's... Oh, wait, where did you go? Is there only allowed to be like three at a time? Is that what it is? Oh, is that what it is? It's like telling me... Oh my goodness, that's so crazy. Interesting! Okay, that is very cool. I'll probably play around with that like another time, but... Yeah, I did not realize that that is how the touch bar worked. So that's interesting. And there's no like F1 keys and all that. Like that is literally where the F1 keys were. That's really cool actually. I'm excited for that. I wonder how that would also play out in terms of like video editing. If you can do shortcuts in there. I think that's pretty much it you guys. I think that is all I wanted to show you guys today for my customizing my laptop. Yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. I mean, the only things that I really need to do from here are like download my other apps that I like to use like Final Cut Pro. I also need to download like Chrome and add all my extensions that I usually use. But for the most part, that concludes today's video. So with that being said, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it before you leave it. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet, subscribe to my channel be sure to hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that i post like i always say thank you for spending a part of your day with me if you do have any questions about any of this or just questions in general feel free to leave them down below i'll be sure to reply to you i always reply to every single comment another thing as well if you are interested in any of the things that i showed like the screensaver the folder icons 
any of the other apps that I mentioned, I'm going to leave all of those down below in the description box for you guys so you can check them out and buy and download them for yourselves. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you're in the world. I hope you are staying safe, looking after yourselves and looking out for each other. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video.